Hey there, creatorpreneurs. Today, I'm gonna show you how to hack the graphics creator with a few other design tools that I think you'll get a kick out of. I'm gonna show you some tricks that will combine other design tools that you can use for free online with the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. Well, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mark Sylvester, and if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, we sell a software product called the Graphics Creator, and you can download it by visiting laughingbirdsoftware.com. The Graphics Creator is software you can use on your Mac or on your Windows machine, and it contains a whole bunch of templates, and it's really fun and really easy to use. But sometimes you can use other tools with it, just like an artist that has a lot of tools in their toolbox. You got your paintbrush, you got your X-Acto knife, you got your pads of paper and your pens, right? All kinds of different tools to make your beautiful masterpiece. So today I'm gonna to show you a few of those tools. So for this tutorial, I am going to uh, scroll down and find a template. This is the Ad Creator template set. And I'm gonna come over here and let's just pick this one for now. And I'm gonna let it launch. Now the idea I had in my head goes something like this. So I'm gonna come over here to photos and videos and I'm going to come up here and come over here and uh, type in something like beach. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll down until I can find something that is similar to what I'm thinking. Um, ah, here, perfect beach. I'm gonna bring it over and I'm going to fill the screen with it. About like that and I'm gonna bring it to the back. Okay, uh, already I like the ad, I can save this and we're done. <laughs> but we're not going to, we're going to, for now, let's close this, take away these these uh, these rays for a minute. I'm gonna delete them and I'll bring this up here for a second. Now my idea was to bury the words Black Friday in the sand, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Now, how do we do that? I'm gonna take this picture here and I'm gonna bring it to the front for a second. So it's just the image of the beach. I'm gonna download it to my computer by choosing download image. And we'll name this, I don't know, beach one or something, or beach scene. Okay, download it. It goes into my downloads folder on my computer. The first design tool we're gonna to use with the graphics creator we're going to come up here to the web and we're going to uh, type in Photopea. Now I don't use this a lot, but I've used it in the past and it's pretty powerful. It's a Photoshop uh, kind of product. Now the reason I like the graphics creator is because when you click on text, the menu changes to text formatting. When you click on an image, the menu will change to image formatting. Super easy, no other controls but we can do way more than that when we use other design tools like Photopea. Now, Photopea is a little bit more complex, but you don't have to worry about all of this right now. All you have to do is come over here to the open from computer and we're gonna open up our beach scene. Here's our beach scene, we're gonna open it up and it pops up in onto the canvas. Now, my monitor is super big, so I'm gonna come over here to the magnifying glass really quick and blow it up a little bit so I can see. Okay, the first trick we're going to do is we're gonna cut out the sand here. Um, well, let me show you. We're gonna use this little lasso tool here. Click it, okay? We're gonna select the lasso. And we're just gonna come over here and we're going to kind of cut a little piece out by clicking and dragging over the sand like that. Okay, super easy. Then we're gonna come up here to the edit menu and we're just gonna cut that piece out. Okay, then we're gonna come up to the edit menu and we're going to paste the piece again. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create a, another layer. And for this tutorial, I don't wanna teach you about all these little eyeballs and these little layer things, but if you click off the background, you click on this little eyeball here, the view uh, icon, you can uncheck it and all you're gonna have is the sand. Okay, bring it back, but there's the sand. We just want the sand. Then we're gonna come up here to the file menu and we're going to export this as a PNG. And I didn't name this project, I don't know what it's gonna do, but I'm just gonna export it really quick. Save it to my computer. We're gonna come back to the graphics creator and this time now, 
I'm going to click on the image and send it back to the back. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and guess what, I'm gonna import that sand. So import the image. Here's the beach scene and open it. And it's tiny, but do you see the little handles here, the little marquees? Because I exported it at full screen, okay? All I really have to do to match it perfectly is make sure that it's lined up to the borders of the canvas. And you'll notice magically, <laughs> ta-da, perfect Black Friday ad buried in the sand. Okay, that wasn't so hard to do, and it looks pretty cool. Now, here's another really cool trick that Photopea can do. So let's come back to the app, and again, I'm going to just hit my undo key on my, comp on my keyboard until everything's back to, way, to the way it was. Okay, Photopea has something called a magic cutout. This time we're gonna come up here to the select menu and we're gonna uh, choose the magic cut option. Okay, so it's gonna give me what it thinks I wanna use, but, uh, but you see the idea. So if I paint green, um, everything that's not green will be erased. It's, it's really cool, so watch this cool effect. So for now I'm gonna hit the clear button up here which will set it to zero. And then everything that's green, so this time, okay, so my idea is I wanna put Black Friday in the water this time, but I don't want such a hard edge in the water. I mean, I could, but for this tutorial, watch this. I'm gonna choose the green and I'm gonna cut the water out to where I think I want the text, okay? And then the red, I'm gonna erase what I don't want to be seen and you'll notice it cuts it out really nicely and it's got a nice little uh, smooth um, blend to it. So I'm done with that. Over here is an OK button. I'm gonna click OK. And do you see how the background now is like transparent? So now I come up here again and we're gonna save this. Export this as a PNG. Make sure it's a PNG file. And save it and of course it's now gonna say Beach Scene 3. <laughs> so back to the graphics creator and I bet you know what I'm gonna do image import beach scene 3 oh look at that and now same as before we're going to make sure it fits the canvas so it fits exactly like we want and now you can see what's happening now we manipulate everything so that it's in the water this time awesome now that is pretty cool okay so that is photopia or photopia I think it's Photopea. <laughs> this magic cut thing I thought was really cool to show you, so I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you, now I think you know that when you click on some text, you can come up here to photos and videos and you can type in something like pattern, okay? And you'll get a bunch of patterns and if you select the text and you drag something over, drag an image onto the text, the text will contain that image. But watch this really cool trick. The other design tool I wanted to show you is not really a design tool, but it's more of an, uh, uh, an image archive. It's called Kind PNG. And these are all free images that you can use. And for this magic trick, I'm gonna type in something like um, chocolate, chocolate drips and you're gonna get a whole bunch of PNG images with transparent backgrounds. But for our demo, I wanna show you something like this one. So I'm gonna click on it, and they get paid by advertising, by the way. That's how this site makes its money. Pretty clever. I'm gonna download my image, and it pops into my computer. And then back in the graphics creator, I'm going to open up my downloads folder. And here is that image, and it's not named chocolate, but whatever. And as long as the text is selected so that the software knows what it's going to be filling, you can come over and you can drag the chocolate into the text. And I'll show you what this is good for. So let's say I don't want Black Friday anymore. I can just double click on the text and I'm gonna type in my name. Okay, and you'll notice that the chocolate drips are still there. And I'm gonna make it pretty big. Okay, and now I'm gonna take off the outline because it's too thick right now. 
just make it super thin. And let's bring that image over one more time. Now that I've resized the text, I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna bring the, te uh, the chocolate over. And it fills it pretty nicely. And now, like I did before, I'm gonna manipulate the width by going to text color and the width, maybe like that. Okay, you're gonna notice something here that the top of the chocolate is super close to the to the bottom of the chocolate for this particular uh, image. So a trick that I like to do, and here's something you may not have known, I'm going to delete the background, delete this, delete everything on the canvas, and come over here and make the canvas white. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna drag that chocolate onto my canvas this time. But this time, stretch a little bit. I'm gonna make the canvas higher so that, whoop, there we go, forgot that text. Make it higher, squeezing the sides so it fits, but leaving some room from top to bottom. And here's why. I'm gonna exp, I'm gonna download this to my computer, but I'm gonna make sure this is a transparent graphic and I'm gonna type in the chocolate, download this, and then hit the undo button until I'm back to where I was before. It's a pretty cool trick. Undo, 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 take you about 30 seconds. No big deal. Was there. Okay, now this chocolate, I'm gonna select my text. Now this chocolate image should be better. Bring it over. There we go. You'll notice that I can move it up like this. It's not so close to the bottom anymore. Hope that trick made sense. <laughs> okay, now for this magic trick, I'm going to duplicate this text by coming over here to the, to the duplicate menu and duplicate my name and come over here to text color and instead of an image, I'm gonna make it a solid color like pink or something. Then bring it here. Send it a little further back so the chocolate drips are on top. Cool, now I can uh, take away the outline. We don't even want the outline on those things. And you'll notice that it's perfectly formatted to my name. That's a, that's a very cool effect. And the reason that you wanna go through all that work is because now I can literally take this word and change it to Lisa. And as long as I double click on the chocolate, and type in Lisa as well, it actually fits her name the same way. And I'm sure you'll be able to find a lot of cool reasons to use this cool trick. Okay, let's try one more trick with this kind uh, PNG site. Let's go up here to the search box and we're gonna type in fire. Uh, let's try this one to see what this does. Now again, they're making money on ads, so I gotta wait for a second. <laughs> and it's very confusing because I'm gonna click on this, and but I don't wanna, I'm gonna click on download. We're gonna to come to my downloads folder and drag the fire on top of the chocolate instead. And it's gonna to conform to the, to the word. So now let's manipulate it a little bit. Then we're gonna come over here one more time and instead of uh, dragging it onto the text, I'm gonna click off the text so it's not selected. And we're just gonna bring the fire onto the water background and we're gonna bring it to the back of all this so it hides behind the water a little bit so let's hit further there I think that's it is that behind yeah that's behind that looks really cool and we can even double click on all of the text and go back to our word sale awesome I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial on using other design tools um, that you can use with the graphics creator Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this uh, tutorial. I'll see you next time on the next Tutorial Tuesday for The Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software.